Their Excellencies, the Right Honourable Dame Patsy Reddy, Governor General of New Zealand, and Sir David Gascoigne. Inga mana, inga reo, inga iwi o ngā hoe whā. Tēnei aku mihi mahana ki a koutou. Kia ora tātou katoa. No mai hairu mai rā ki te wharekawana. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, warm greetings to you all and welcome to Government House. I specifically acknowledge our kuia te rupawai Higgins and our kaumatua, Professor Piri Shasha. Tēnā kōrua. It's a pleasure to host this investiture ceremony and bring together 20 honour recipients, along with their family and friends, to recognise the contributions they have made to our country. As Governor-General, I have the authority and the privilege, on behalf of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of New Zealand, to hold an investiture for her and to confer the honours to which each recipient is entitled. Ladies and gentlemen, as each one is honoured, I invite you to join me in thanking and congratulating them for their service to our country. Mr Hewitt Humphrey will now summon the recipients and read a citation for each one. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Ms. Frances Valentine of Auckland for services to education and the technology sector. Frances Valentine has established three successful education organizations and is a spokesperson and mentor for women in the technology sector. She co-led the Media Design School a tertiary institution that provides specialist training for the visual effects and computer game industries. She founded the Mind Lab in Auckland, providing students with workshops and programs with a focus on science, technology and creativity. Since launching the Tech Futures Lab, she's worked with hundreds of businesses navigating digital transformation as well as working with executives studying a master's in technological futures. She's a member of the Callaghan Innovation Board, 
Kia, World Class New Zealanders Network, Talentnomics, based in Washington, D.C., for the empowerment of female leaders in developing nations, and the Artificial Intelligence Forum New Zealand. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a companion of the Queen's Service Order, the Honourable Chester Burroughs of Hawera, for services as a Member of Parliament. The Honourable Chester Burroughs was a Member of Parliament for the Whanganui electorate for 12 years. He's been National Party Police Spokesman and, as part of the Law and Order team, worked on policies dealing with police, corrections and justice that formed a substantive part of the 100-day action plan. He was chair of the Justice and Electoral Select Committee and a member of the Social Services Select Committee. He contributed to the Fresh Start youth justice reforms, which saw a decline in serious and persistent youth offending through a range of initiatives. He held the courts, justice and social development portfolios and was deputy speaker of the House. Mr. Burroughs is patron of Birthright Whanganui and is a lay preacher and funeral and marriage celebrant. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of an Officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Archdeacon Wirimu Kaua of Wellington, for services to Māori, education and the state. As the inaugural Group Manager Māori at the Ministry of Education, Archdeacon Wirimu Kaua led various initiatives to immerse staff in Māori culture, compiled the government's 10-point plan for Māori education, and contributed to the establishment of Kura Kaupapa schools and three Wananga. He's made significant contributions to the national Kohanga Reo movement. He's had a long involvement with the Department of Māori Affairs and roles with the Ministry of Transport, the Crime Prevention Unit in the Department of the Prime Minister and Cabinet, and the Ministry of Justice. He's been a cultural advisor to numerous agencies and organisations. He established a forum for the chairs of a large number of East Coast land holdings. Archdeacon Kaua is a committed minister of the Anglican Church. Dr. Malcolm McPherson of Alexandra for services to local government and the community. Dr. Malcolm McPherson was a central Otago district councillor and served three terms as mayor. He oversaw Alexandra's flood recovery projects, the Warm Homes Clean Air Program 
and a systems thinking review of the Council's business. He chaired the Central Employment Trust, Otago Forward, Keep Alexandra Clyde Beautiful, the Jolandale Park Charitable Trust, the Central Lakes Trust, and the group that built Alexandra's Fulton Hogan Cycle Park. He was a National Working Party member and director of Apple Futures. He served on the Otago District Health Board, Otago Polytechnic Council, and Otago Hospice Trust. He currently chairs Central Stories Museum and Art Gallery, the Alexandra Men's Shed Trust, the Clyde Rescue Boat Trust, and Central Otago Premium Fruit Limited, and as a member of the Roxborough Gorge Trail Charitable Trust. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Professor Barbara Brooks of Dunedin for services to historical research and women. Professor Barbara Brooks is Professor of History at the University of Otago. She was formerly head of the university's history and art history departments and helped establish the staff Women's Caucus. She's co-edited six books on women's history and on health, and two collections of essays on New Zealand women's history. Her most recent publication is A History of New Zealand Women, the culmination of decades of research. She's produced 10 books and 38 book chapters. She's currently co-editor of the New Zealand Journal of History and is on the editorial boards of Health and History and the Journal of Family History. Dr. John Guthrie of Dunedin for services to education and sport. Dr. John Guthrie established the University of Otago business case competitions. He's organized regional, national and international competitions and coached successful teams from Otago University where he's employed in the Department of Marketing. He's chairman of the New Zealand Student Development Society the International Business Association of Case Competition Coaches and the Transition to Work Trust and President of the Eastern Harbour Tennis Club. He's been an Executive Committee Member of the New Zealand Masters Games and Otago Area Commissioner for Scouting New Zealand. He drove the formation of the Bayfield Park Community Sports Trust and the construction of a sports pavilion at Bayfield Park. Mr. Dennis Hartley of Ohope Beach 
for services to aviation and rescue services. Dennis Hartley was the founder and executive of the Eastland Helicopter Rescue Service, New Zealand's first community-owned air ambulance helicopter. He established the East Coast Search and Rescue Squad and Tokomaru Bay Marine Communications. He equipped and trained rescue squads linked to first response fire brigades in several communities. He pioneered helicopter live line human sling power line maintenance in New Zealand and introduced the procedure to China and India. He was a committee member of the New Zealand Aviation Industry Association Air Ambulance Division, helicopter advisor for the Aviation Tourism and Travel Training Organization, and regional safety officer for the New Zealand Civil Aviation Authority. He's involved with the Coast Guard and Ohope Lions. Dr. Palatasa Javier of Palmerston North for services to the Pacific community and the dairy industry. Dr. Javier is a senior research scientist at Fonterra Research and Development Center and chair of the Health Research Council Pacific Committee. He was a long serving member and chair of the Minister for Pacific People's Advisory Council. He established the Pacific category in the Manawatu Science Fair. He's an elder at Church on Vogel in Palmerston North and has been an advisor for Cornerstone Christian School, the Langamoui Preschool Society and Massey Pacific Advisory Committee. He's trained youth leaders and set up children's literacy and numeracy programs. He's a member of the International Student Ministry Board of Trustees and has done mission work around the Pacific. Mr. Noel Hyde of Rotorua for services to wildlife conservation and research taxidermy. Mr. Hyde is a specialist scientific bird taxidermist and one of New Zealand's foremost feather identification experts. He's provided his expertise in assisting with academic field research and to the identification of feathered korowai. His efforts resulted in the establishment of legal falconry in New Zealand. He formulated and contributed New Zealand support towards the successful international submission to UNESCO for Falconry's inscription on the representative list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. He contributed to the development of the Wingspan National Bird of Prey Trust in Rotorua. He's a published researcher on New Zealand's Birds of Prey and founder of the New Zealand Falconers Association.
Mr. Paul McArdle of Havelock North for services to cycling and the community. Paul McArdle has been the driving force behind a range of programs that encourage people to use bikes to improve their fitness and enjoy the natural environment. He founded the Bike on New Zealand Charitable Trust, which has encouraged thousands of children to bike more regularly. His Bikes in Schools initiative has so far helped more than 25,000 school children across 90 schools get regular access to a bike and has enhanced the students' competency and awareness of road safety. Mr. McArdle was instrumental in the Hastings District Council's successful model community application, the iWay program, which has provided an extension of 54.5 kilometers of cycle lanes and pathways. Ms. Sarah Reo of Havelock North for services to Māori and education. Sarah Reo is the co-founder of education provider Culture Flow, which developed innovative methods of delivering te reo and tikanga Māori training programs to encourage the uptake of Māori language amongst a new generation of learners. Culture Flow programs are delivered throughout New Zealand to public and private sector organisations not-for-profit groups and tertiary institutes using a mixture of software, classes and one-on-one -on -one training. Ms. Rio co-founded CultureFlow China to use these technologies to deliver English language programs in China. She's contributed to Maori housing projects, mentoring programs for young women and employment programs for the unemployed. Ms. Rio is a Fulbright Platinum Triangle Business Scholar. Ms. Sue Stanaway of Auckland for services to philanthropy and the community. Sue Stanaway is a real estate businesswoman and a key member of the North Harbour Club Charitable Trust, which supports young people in their chosen fields through the annual AIMS Awards scholarship grants. She served as an AIMS Awards judge and currently chairs the Junior AIMS Excellence Awards judging panel. She's a past board member for the Yes Disability Resource Centre, a non-profit organisation working to increase representation of people with disabilities. Ms. Stanaway is General Manager of the Baileys Foundation, the sponsorship partner for a Make-A-Wish New Zealand and the supporter of other organisations, including the Auckland Philharmonia.
Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of an honorary member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Dr. Rude Kleinpaster of Christchurch for services to entomology, conservation and entertainment. Early in his career, Dr. Rude Kleinpaster worked as an entomologist with the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries. He's published regular newspaper and magazine columns and hosted a radio talkback show. He had a long-running association with Maggie's Garden Show and worked on several other television series, including Bugging with Rude. <laughs> He's currently an ecological consultant and a trustee of Project Crimson, Kiwis for Kiwi, the Air New Zealand Environment Trust, Kids Restore New Zealand, and the Omaha Shorebird Protection Trust. Dr. Kleinpaster is patron of the Little Barrier Island Supporters Trust, the National Wetland Trust, Trees for Survival, Southland Community Environment Trust, and Wingspan. Your Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal, Ms. Linda Chalmers of Auckland for services to art. Linda Chalmers is director of the Waiheke Community Art Gallery. As the gallery does not receive any institutional funding, she's had to balance its budget through sales of work, membership subscriptions, grants, benefactors, and gala events. Despite these challenges, she's trebled the gallery's income and lifted its profile to the extent that the New York Times recommended it as a go-to destination in New Zealand. Ms Chalmers introduced the biannual Artist in Residence event and has established and organised several annual art competitions. Her support has enabled local artists to continue producing work and exhibiting to visitors. Mr. Ian Dick of Napier for services to the community and local government. Ian Dick was a Napier city councillor and deputy mayor. He was a driving force on the Municipal Theatre Fundraising Committee. He was captain of the Napier City Rovers Football Club and chairman of the Hawke's Bay Organising Committee for the FIFA U17 World Cup. He served on the Board of Governors for Sacred Heart College and St John's College and chaired the first Board of Trustees when St Patrick's Girls School merged with Marist Boys School. He's an active member of the St Thomas More Parish Council and has held several leadership roles with Lions New Zealand.
Mrs. Liza Eastman of Parapara for services to the arts and the community. Liza Eastman is a member, former co-chair and former chair of the Golden Bay Arts Council. She's part of the subcommittee that established and runs the Golden Bay Art Bank Gallery. She runs quilting classes and is a founding member of the Golden Bay Patchwork and Quilting Guild. Her work has been exhibited nationally and internationally, including as part of the American AIDS Quilt Project and the New Zealand AIDS Quilt. She helps to organize an annual quilt raffle that raises money for voluntary services. Mrs. Eastman produced wall quilts to raise funds for the lone Whiting Rest Home. Mr. Neil Faulkner of Rangiora for services to the community and broadcasting. Neil Faulkner was a radio announcer with NZBC, Radio Ferrymead and Compass FM. He's a trustee of Shirley Boys High School and chairman of the Resources Committee, treasurer of the Waimakiriri Combined Friendship Club and a justice of the peace. He's been a member of the Hammersley Park School Council, a trustee of Shirley Intermediate School a committee member of Christchurch Aotea Club and an umpire and team manager for East Christchurch Shirley Junior Cricket Club. He was treasurer of the Christchurch North Rotary Club. Mr Faulkner initiated Westpac's volunteer Christmas gift wrapping for the Christchurch City Mission. Mr. Parshutam Govind of Auckland for services to the Indian community. Parshutam Govind has twice served as president of the Auckland Indian Association. During previous service as secretary, he raised funds to buy and refurbish what is now the Mahatma Gandhi Centre. He coordinated the Silver Jubilee celebration of the centre, including the publication of a pictorial historical book. He's an executive member of the Auckland Regional Ethnic Council and a Justice of the Peace. He's been a committee member of the Auckland Indian Sports Club and represented the club in hockey and cricket. He's fundraised for many organisations, including the IHC, RNZRSA schools and sports clubs. Mrs. Julie Syme of Kaikoura for services to the community. Julie Syme is president of the Kaikoura Seawood Lions, having been a founding member and served in most roles within the organization. 
she spearheaded the Lions' contribution to fundraising and managing community events. Through the Lions, she's also been district governor and mentored other prospective governors. She was the secretary for the Kaikoura RSA, a trustee of the Kaikoura Education Trust and foundation secretary of the Kaikoura Community Theatre. She's been involved with Plunkett, Play Centre, Red Cross and the Presbyterian Church. Mrs. Syme is secretary of the Community Hall Committee and president of the Kaikoura Garden Club. Mrs. Lindsay Wright of Greytown for services to swimming. Lindsay Wright taught learn to swim, water safety and life-saving classes voluntarily and introduced the Royal Life Saving Society Aquapass program into Greytown Primary School. She was custodian of the Greytown Swimming Pool and part of the Greytown Swimming Club Committee. She encouraged young people to take up competitive swimming and diving and has more recently encouraged older people to swim for fitness. She's mentored competitive swimmers and been a timekeeper and judge at swimming club competitions. She's patron of the Great Arm Swimming Club and volunteers at the Carterton St Vincent de Paul shop and the Cobblestones Museum. Your Excellency, the investiture is concluded. An investiture is the most important event I hold on behalf of Her Majesty, the Queen of New Zealand. It allows me, as Governor General, to recognise and thank an extraordinary group of people on behalf of all New Zealanders. By using their talents to make ours a better society, whether by service to their communities or by their leadership in diverse fields of endeavour or their commitment to excellence in their field of expertise. Our recipients have set a fine example to others, encouraging them in their own endeavours. To the recipients, it's been a privilege today to hear your stories. You have demonstrated determination, commitment, perseverance and compassion in your daily lives. In your own way, each of you has helped to make New Zealand a better place to live. In some cases, your influence and the positive impact of your work has extended beyond our shores. Your actions and the stories we've heard reflect the words of Sir Winston Churchill when he said, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. Your contributions have enriched the cultural, social and economic fabric of Aotearoa New Zealand. Please wear your insignia with pride, knowing that your communities appreciate and value the work you've done and are inspired by your example. On behalf of the Queen of New Zealand and all New Zealanders, I congratulate you on your achievements and I thank you for your service to our country. Kia ora hui hui tātou katoa. Ladies and gentlemen, that almost brings to a close the formal part of today's ceremony. But before we go through for some refreshments, 
I'd like you all to stand and we'll sing the national anthem in Māori and in English. Thank you. Thank you.